The spell fell upon the crowd like a dragon, ancient and full of death. Welcome to a Grixis Just Fireball deck tech. This is a Grixis control deck for CEDH with a goal of leveraging its commander Silas Wren Seeker Adept's ability for artifact recursion and combos and repeatedly casting its other commander Jessica Thrice Reborn to burn out opponents for the win. This deck contains three steps to Just Fireball. Number one, make infinite or arbitrarily large amounts of mana. Number two, Cast Jessica Thrice Reborn. Number three, use her minus ability. This can be repeated ad nauseum to eventually lower your opponent's life totals to zero and win the game. That's Step right. one, number one, to make infinite mana. This is done through a few combos within the deck. The first is Dockside Extortionist and Lordrakis, plus any of the three bounce spells contained in the deck Snap, Chain of Vapor, or Cyclonic Rift. Each of these needs at least 5, 6, or 7 artifacts or enchantments on your opponent's battlefields respectively. The combo works like this. Cast Dockside to create your 5, 6, or 7 or more treasures, depending on the spell you have handy. Then, use 2 of those treasures to cast Lord Dracus with its alternate Mutate casting cost to mutate onto Dockside, turning Snap, Chain of Vapor, or Cyclonic Rift from the graveyard to your hand. Next, use two treasures to cast Snap and untap two lands, or use one treasure to cast Chain of Vapor, or use two treasures to cast Cyclonic Rift, each time targeting the mutated Dockside Dracus. Finally, use the two untapped lands from Snap, or two more treasures from Dockside to recast Dockside itself, leaving one treasure unused. Repeating this process therefore produces infinite treasures and mana. The second combo is Cloudstone and Curio, Dockside Extortionist, and Silas Rand's Seeker Adept. As long as your opponents have six or more artifacts and or enchantments on their battlefield. First, cast Cloudstone Curio. Second, cast Dockside to make the six plus treasures. Using three of those treasures, cast Silas Ren, triggering Cloudstone to return Dockside to your hand. Third, use two of the remaining treasures to recast Dockside triggering Cloudstone to return Silas Rent to hand and repeat the loop, leaving one treasure and producing infinite mana. The last combo within the deck is Isochron Scepter and Dramatic Reversal with any number of artifacts that produce three or more mana, as long as one of those produces red mana. Start by having three non-line mana sources on your battlefield and casting Isochron Scepter, exiling Dramatic Reversal to its imprint ability when it enters the battlefield. Then, Tap at least three non-land mana sources to activate Isochron Scepter with two of that mana, copying Dramatic Reversal and casting the copy, thus untapping all non-land permanents on your battlefield. Repeatedly activate Isochron Scepter in the same manner in order to produce infinite mana. Number two. The next step in the overall plan of the deck is very simple. Cast your commander, Jessica Thrice Reborn. Number three. The final step to winning is to use her minus ability. Jessica's minus ability damages any three targets, which includes your three opponents. With infinite mana, you can repeatedly cast her and use her minus ability to bring her loyalty to zero, each time targeting your three opponents and reducing their life total to zero. Note that this is where the deck's name, Just Fireball, comes from as a reference to not only the card Fireball, but also Joe Cat. I'll now go over some notable cards within the deck. Silas Wren's Seeker Adept as the second partner commander is the only partner commander that can make the Grixis combination and can also help recur any artifacts needed for either Cloudstone Curio or Isochron Scepter combos. In terms of creatures, Imperial Recruiter can search for any of your creature win cons. Phantasmal Image can be used to copy Imperial Recruiter in order to get the other half of your creature win con or just copy the best creature that's on the battlefield and the Spellseeker can search for Dramatic Reversal or any of the bounce spells in the deck. For tutors, we contain the general suite of Grixis tutors, but notable ones include Diabolic Intent that can sacrifice any of the previously mentioned creatures in order to search for the other half of the combo you need, Inventor's Fair is a land that searches for any artifact, Transmute Artifact can be used to sacrifice an artifact on the battlefield to get Isochron Scepter or Cloudstone Curio straight onto the battlefield at sorcery speed, while Word of Invention can be used to directly get them onto the battlefield with the help of its improvised keyword ability at instant speed. Muddle the Mixture has its transmute ability that can be used to discard and search for Isochron Scepter, 
Dockside Extortionist, Snap, Cyclonic Rift, or Dramatic Reversal. Intuition searches for any three artifacts, and whichever two go to the graveyard can thereafter be cast with Silas Wren's triggered ability. And similarly, Gamble searches the hand, but if an artifact gets discarded, it can then be recast. And Tomb can be used at instant speed after Silas Wren attacks unblocked to search for an artifact straight to the graveyard to be cast. Also, Urza's Saga is an enchantment land that can search out an artifact to combo with Isochron Scepter, such as Mana Crypt or Mox Opal. To go along with Silas Wren recurring artifacts from the graveyard, the deck runs cards like Academy Ruins, Underworld Breach, and Yawgmoth's Will. Ashiok Dreamrender can also target yourself in order to mill your own deck, potentially putting artifacts into your graveyard, all while preventing opponents from tutoring and exiling their graveyards. Another planeswalker in the deck is Narset Parter Veil, vale, which can help dig for Cloudstone Curio, Isochron Scepter, Dramatic Reversal, or any other artifact needed, all while keeping our opponents off drawing extra cards and synergizing with the wheels in the deck, Wheel of Fortune, Windfall, and Wheel of Misfortune. These wheels are equally as good for fueling our graveyard and putting artifacts in there to then be recast with Silas Wren. Finally, being in the Grixis color combination, the deck of course has both Ad Nauseam and Peer into the Abyss. Now, for some notable exclusions, Thassa's Oracle, Tainted Pact, Demonic Consultation, and Brain Freeze. Well, the deck's name is just Fireball, so winning through means other than Jessica Thrice Reborn, our Fireball isn't allowed. And that's it for the deck deck. The other cards in the deck are your normal suite of Grixis CDH good stuff such as counterspells, other tutors and creatures, fetch lands, OG dual lands, and so on. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions, I'd love to see them in the comments below. As always, Magic the Gathering is a game, so don't forget to have fun and make the deck yours if you want. There's a Mox Field deck list down in the description which contains all the cards I didn't use in the considering section. If you want more sweet Magic the Gathering takes, be sure to follow me on Twitter at Lasor4, that's L-A-S-O-R and the number 4. And always remember, just fireball!